If you ain't a body cancer with me, I swear that these bitches my mini memes. He wanna sex, niggas be dreaming. I'm finna ex, niggas be scheming. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, and welcome back if you've been true here, y'all. It's your girl, Mocha Michelle. In the building, my voice. I don't know where it's going. I don't know where we going with it, okay? It ain't came back yet. It don't seem like it's ever coming back. So y'all can get used to the rough, rough, roughness of my voice because I'm not getting... I've always had like a deep voice, but this is raspy. This voice is raspy. I go to the doctor in May because um, all these doctors are all booked out and I don't like my primary care doctor that I've had for the last six years. I don't like her. Um, I didn't like her when I had her, but I just, you know, finally got up and said, it's time to really find you some new doctors or a new doctor and stop using it as an excuse not to go. Okay. And even though I didn't like her, I still went to her. But after I had Taylor, like right after I had Taylor, that was the last straw. That was the last straw. She pulled the last straw. So I haven't been to the doctor in like a year and a half. So I'm like a half a year behind on my physical or maybe a year and a half. I need a physical. And I'm going to address this bronchitis situation, um, especially if by then it hasn't, my voice hasn't came back. Something might be going on with my lungs, but anyway, enough about me. I'm getting ready to take Taylor to her ear appointment. She's getting a hearing test today. It's going to be two hours long. Um, I can't bring anybody with me. Can't bring the kids with me because it has to be completely quiet. So I just changed her. Um, I'm getting her ready put her brace on and I'm nursing her right now we gotta leave in like 15 minutes I'm about to make my iced coffee and finish with her and we gonna get in the car I'll see you guys when I get to the place all right y'all we made it we going in I'm just hoping she don't drop her freaking iPad because I gotta get that piece to the front of the show that you see she's holding it though so she knows I have to drop that iPad. It's so cold. Yeah, but I'll be ordering that front, front tray for her stroller this week. Because I don't like it so open like that. Such a big girl. Alright, Yama? Freaking camera is really getting on my nerves with that damn glare, but we just came out of there and my iced coffee I made today from home, but we just came out of there. We wasn't even really in there for that long because you know Taylor is like such a fighter. She don't let nobody stick nothing in her ear or do nothing. So when they first started doing the test, they had um, her just sitting and they had the speakers come on and they was like putting cocoa melon through the speakers and stuff because they know she like Coco Melon and she was like responding to some of the stuff but they were saying like they feel like when she doesn't respond it's more so lack of interest but they wouldn't let she wouldn't let them do the other part of the test because it required to stick um the little microphone in her ears and she just wasn't having it not even on my lap not even when I was nursing her it was nothing we could do she just wasn't having it so um this is a scary part, and this is the part that just has me like, oh my God, I just keep having to go through the struggle with my baby. <sighs> so they're gonna schedule her for sedation. They're gonna sedate her. She has to be put to sleep for them to do her ear test. Um, it's just annoying. <laughs> and it's hard for me, cause I'm not used to, I, I never had to go through any of this with my kids. So it's just like, damn, um, but two-year-olds don't usually do well with them ear tests she said so it's normal but just for my baby to have to go under sedation and I'm just like well would I get to be there with her the entire time like even when they're sedating her like they said I get to be there the entire time through everything so that just makes me feel better and um after the test um we still got to wait there. It's like a surgery, basically. We got to wait there until she wakes up and um, make sure she can eat or drink before, she's, before she leaves. 
So, I mean, I just think she's so little, but I mean, they want to make sure she get here. So, so far they said her sound waves are pretty good. Um, but it's just the speech and something that she didn't let them test today. So they got to test that. And I'm going to take y'all with me. Y'all probably going to be crying that day because that's just going to be hard for me. Um, watching her, you know, it, it's just going to be hard. But whew. All right, y'all. <laughs> let me go home. Let me call my mama because, you know, I got to call my mother for every goddamn thing. And I'll see you guys when I get home. I'm probably going to run to the hair store and get um, Lily's hair because I need to um, take her hair out and wash it. I washed Milani's hair and took it out. And I also want to go to Dollar Tree today because I got to do some stuff um, and get some stuff. So I'm going to take them out with me. But just know they're here. It's plaited up because when I wash it, I plait it, detangle it, plait it, and then I do it. So I'll see y'all when I get home. All right, y'all, I'm back home. Of course, in the chaos. Um, I stopped by the hair store to get Lily some um, hair and some beads and a new bonnet because I'm going to be doing her hair today. Go ahead and get them chips out of my face, please. I'm making breakfast right now. It's kind of late breakfast because it's Taylor's doctor's appointment. Yes, I'm giving Milani chips because she, I don't, I just already went through a meltdown screaming. Excuse me, can you move? Thank you. I don't like them by the stove when I'm cooking and they just always end up going by the stove when I'm cooking. So, oh, I'm just trying to make breakfast and then I got to I got to go. I'm going to take Malia's hair out after breakfast. I already washed Milani's hair yesterday, as I said earlier. I don't know what I'm going to do with her hair. I didn't buy her no beads because we have a lot of beads. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to put beads in her hair. Again, I might just two strand twist her hair and just let it breathe. I don't like the weight of the beads and the pulling and all that stuff on her hair right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm making breakfast. I'm going to wash the dishes like always. I'm having cereal for breakfast. I don't want no breakfast. I just need something quick. And then um, I want to get on Lily here. Because we need to run out. We need to go to um, Dollar Tree. Because I need to get a pan. I'm like, what do I need to get from Dollar Tree? I just love Dollar Tree. I got to find a reason to be up in here. No, that's different. That's not even zip it. I'm going to Dollar Tree to get a pan. To make my spaghetti from TikTok. Okay, that's what I'm making today. Spaghetti with the Alfredo and the spaghetti in the pan. So yeah, I need a pan for that. And then I'm gonna run in Burlington Co. Factory because I wanna see if I can find Taylor some sneakers. And I'm gonna take y'all with me. I'm only gonna do little clips today because I don't wanna do an extremely long vlog, but I wanna get like the entire day on camera for y'all. So I'm gonna cook breakfast and I'll be back. All right, that's Malia's, Taylor's, picky Milan here is what I'm having. Yeah, I'm so pissed. My phone is propped up on a, can a candle right now. The kids completely broke my tripod. Like, completely just broke it. They were playing on the floor, and I guess they knocked it over, but it cracked. Like, first it was the ring light, and now the tripod. So I'm like, nobody's getting anything. I'll just buy, my I'm going to replace my tripod. Like, I buy y'all everything. I don't buy myself anything, and y'all always break up my stuff. Like... I'm really upset right now and I need to get a new phone so it's just like come on so I don't know vlogging gonna be kind of hard if um I don't know where I'm gonna get um a ring light from a tripod I could order one but it's gonna take a day or two to come so I don't know I don't, it's gonna be hard to vlog it really is my tripod plays a major part can't prop your phone up on everything so all right, y'all, the Sheen order came in. This is Taylor's, Milani's, and the rest is Lily's. And then she got two backpacks. Because her backpack is ripping. I got these little scrunchies, more scrunchies. I wanted to try these little nails. I think they're so cute. I don't know. I thought I'd put this back. I don't even want this, but you don't have your ears for this. All right. All right, excuse, excuse Taylor crying in the background. She's been extra clingy. This is Milani's comforter. This is, I got this from Burlington Co. Factory, and she got her little pillow right there, a little extra pillow. Um, Taylor got cocoa melon, so it's probably going to be pink that I'm bringing out. 
and Malia got Hello Kitty. Right, y'all? Pink. Let me see what's in here. Comfort. Yeah. Pink, a blue, turquoise. Turquoise is looking like a color. Yeah, um, pink and turquoise. I don't know. But this is their comfort sets. And this is what we're trying to match up stuff with today. Yeah, we never even made it <laughs> to Walmart yesterday. Okay. I'm coming on here to end, end the vlog. Because it's been like two days of nothing on that vlog. Um, we never made it to Walmart. Because when we went to Burlington Coat Factory... Taylor decided she wanted to go to sleep, so I had to take her out of the carriage and hold her because I was already in the store. I had Milani and Malia, we were all together, and it was just a difficult situation. The situation was so difficult that it results into me having some severe back pains. I'm laying in bed right now, and I got a heating patch on my back, and I took two of these, and yeah, um, a lot of pain. And on top of that, I mean, after that, we just decided to go home after we left Burlington Coat Factory. We were going home. So after that, like later on in the night, Milani starts throwing up all over everything. So now I'm doing laundry because she didn't throw up on damn near everything. Um, so I'm dealing with that. And then I did go get her some Gatorade from Walmart today. And I did go get me some Aleve and, and my heat patches for today. Um... And what I really wanted to go to Walmart for yesterday was to get them some stuff for their room. So I did attempt to find them some sheets for their bed today. So that's what I did grab. That's the only thing I grabbed pertaining to their room. But I also grabbed more laundry detergent because I'm washing so, so many clothes. Um, but yeah, yeah, that, that's been my couple of days. I'm productive, but productive at the same time. I ain't got nothing going on today because I am stuck in a bed. My back is killing me. Milani's sick. Taylor's sleeping. And Lily's just tired. So we just, we're supposed to go to the trampoline park today. But it's like so cold and windy outside and everybody is just messed up. So we'll be postponing that. And I don't got no vlog for y'all today. So I'm just going to end my vlog from a couple of days ago here. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And my social medias and everything else you want to follow me on tiktok if you want to follow me on facebook and instagram it'll be down in the description box below to the next video y'all love y'all and i'm sorry for this this ending i just i am just i don't feel good y'all i don't if you ain't a body can't sit with me i swear that these bitches my mini me's he wanna sex niggas be dreaming i'm from the ex niggas be scheming